Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. We're playing an EGIK WM France Deck G456 game with Bigfoot729, PJ17, and Hullabaloo. So, looking at this opening pile, um, Rogue is incredible, but that collector is also very good. I think I have to take Rogue. Yeah, I think I have to take Rogue here. I'd probably wheel Pioneer. Yeah, Rogue wheel Pioneer, and Pioneer plus Rogue looks pretty good. I know I can use the Family Growth space when it flips, I know I can use plus, so uh, expensive Family Growth, that kind of thing. So if I'm not playing minor improvements, then I'm probably going to play more majors, and I'm also looking for points from my uh, Ox and majors, so I like manual labor a decent amount here, but I also like hoarder. I think I, I think hoarder is pretty good here. It's a way for me to generate points without um, without miners, so I think this is a pretty easy hoarder. Hey, Montu. Uh, stable artificer, uh, nine rounds to play, four wood. Build four stables. Hmm. Uh, farm worker is pretty good. I like farm worker. We've also got Racing Stable Manager and Stable Artificer here. So Racing Stable Manager is better than normal because of Stable Artificer. But uh, I think I'm taking Farm Worker here. Maybe I wheel Racing Stable Manager and then it's an okay play. Yeah, these cards are not really very good. So they're not really worth talking about. Maybe the correct pick is Stable Artificer. I think Farm Worker is very good though. I think Farm Worker is very good. Ooh, South Pole Explorer here. I think with Rogue, I don't want to pursue the South Pole Explorer points. Um, yeah, with Rogue, I don't want to do anything that prevents me from setting up Pioneer Rogue, getting the first family growth whenever it flips. I think I don't want to do anything that gets in the way of that. Um, I like Clay Hut Builder here. Clay Hut Builder gives me a ton of building resources for Farm Worker and Hoarder. We've also got Diplomat. So, yeah, this is definitely a ceiling game. When you can have three different players use Plow So in 14, definitely a ceiling game. I think I'm grabbing Clay Hut Builder here. Cattle Breeder is also decent, but yeah. I think uh, Clay Hut Builder looks good with Hoarder and Farm Worker. Nice source of uh, um, clay. And then also building the clay room and growing again will be something that I can do quickly because my rogue is... An unblockable action. So yeah, pass some good stuff. Deck collector, diplomat. There's some good stuff out there. Yeah, so I wield pioneer here. Don't think there's any reason to take anything else. Maybe Harbor Master, since I have Farm Worker and Hoarder and Clay Hut Builder. So the read from Farm Harbor Master is not bad, actually. But uh, I think the Pioneer is more reliable. I think it's quite a bit more reliable, since I know I have unblockable actions. So I like Pioneer here. Understudy is maybe a thing to look at. Um, the, the weird thing about Understudy is... Like, do other people's family members interact with that? So, like, if you... If I rogue the plow space, can I then use understudy to go on it again, even if somebody else is there? Which is something to think about. Hmm. Um... What do I like here, actually? Uh, since I know that stable artificers out there, I think organic farmer is probably good because yeah, if I'm building stables, I'm probably um, I probably do pa have pastures with high capacity. Although if I'm building stables, maybe I want to fence tightly and then hide farmer is good. But uh, I think I like organic farmer with stable artificer in the game. Manual labor is fine, but I think the clay hut builder actually is not good with manual labor because then I, all I really want to do is just get clay. 
And with Rogue in the game, like, I'm probably just going to go on Reedstone food, right? Coal Miner is maybe playable here. Uh, I can take Stone with Pioneer when it flips, so Coal Miner is maybe playable. Hmm. Uh, a couple good cards here. I'll highlight Turnip Field, Evening Prayer, and Ashbringer. Man, with Seeing Canoe, that uh, Harbor Master could have been pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't think I want Evening Prayer because it just turns off Rogue. Uh, Ashbringer is a card that I can play late to get a three wood action, but I think this is just Turnip Field. Uh, Turnip Field, I can play, like I can unblockably Reno Fence and then I can Turnip Field uh, to get my sow action, assuming I have all the plows that I need. And um, that's definitely a card that's worth... Turnip Field is the kind of card that's worth turning off Rogue for. There's not too many of them. Hey, Rylocren. Ashbringer is very good, yeah. The problem with this hand is this hand doesn't really want to build an oven. Unless I see, like, Rain Card or something. But I'm having to play two Miners before the Oven. That's really turning off Rogue, so... I definitely want to try to pick up Passing Miners here if I can. Ooh. Ooh, Sickle looks good here. Uh, half Timbered House not too bad also. Um, watering Can... Like, I kind of want to take Passing Watering Can here, but I probably wheel it. I think people don't take Watering Can too highly. Sickle looks good. Speaking of cards that um, make it worth it turning turning off Rogue, Sickle is definitely one of them. So I can play Turnip Field and Sickle after using uh, Rogue. That seems pretty good. Um, okay, I think I'm taking Field, hoping to wheel Stable here. Yeah, I definitely want to start picking up Passing Miners, or else I'm going to uh, not have anything to do on the fam my family growth actions. Also, field does interact with farm worker nicely. Like, if farm worker is in play when I play field, it's turn a BR into something else, which is great. Um, hmm. I think I'm not playing lighthouse. Although lighthouse with pioneer is better than normal. Yeah, Constellation Prize is not great, but I, what I can do is, like, maybe I can take Stone when it flips and then Family Growth, and then hopefully, uh, like, maybe with Coal Miner, Pioneer, I ha that's slightly better. I don't know. I mean, I don't care too much if these Miners are really bad, but... There's a point where I have to say, this is just really unplayable. I should just take the best card just to take it away from someone else. So the half tubered house, like there is definitely a potential huge, uh, is there actually, mm, I mean, I passed debt collector and diplomat, both of which can protect, protect your ability to get to stone. But I mean, there's Stable Artificer out there. The Stable Artificer is okay. I mean, it depends. It really depends on how much wood you spend. Whether you can play Stable Artificer with a uh, big, big house.
I don't think any of these matter too much. I think I'm unlikely to want to play kitchen cabinet. Could grab canoe, just so that nobody feeds the harbor master. Sure. Yeah, I don't think those matter too much. Uh, I don't dislike Flat Hill here, but I think it comes way too late considering I think my Clay Hut Builder will be pretty good here. I like Watering Can with Sickle, Turnip Field. Yeah, just need to make sure I get those five fields. Um, half Timbered House is okay, but it kind of overlaps with Hoarder quite a bit. And I already have Sickle to play in 14, so... Casually shipped evening prayer to a South Pole Explorer. Oh, I forgot about South Pole Explorer. That's true. I did forget about that. Uh, Doe is fine. Um, it's a card that I can play and then discard if I get a bake action. The problem is I actually need grain for that to work. Um, I mean, with Clay Hut Builder, Glass Blower Shop might be fine. Um, prize winning sheep just doesn't do much of anything. Although with hoarder, prize winning sheep might be okay. I mean, I realistically, I'm not gonna want to start player all that much. So, yeah, I mean, if they have like heavy plow or. Uh, milking stool or something, it'll be pretty brutal. But honestly, if somebody's not growing, I don't mind that because it's gonna, like, I'm gonna be able to grow, grow, grow really quickly if somebody else is not growing. And I will appreciate big piles of resources accumulating as well. Because this is definitely a hand that doesn't want to start player, so. Mm hmm. So I'm starting second. Always a good place to start. Hmm. Do I want to awk here? Is there any reason to play farm worker here or pioneer? I think probably not. Not over three wood. I could rogue. Second action read stone food would be fine, but I kind of want to hold on to the rogue for a bit. I don't really want to show it yet. Yeah, no rush on farm worker. I don't think I could. I could play farm worker in plow round two just to keep. Bigfoot a little scared. Like if I take wood and plow one field, then maybe I can make the South Pole Explorer player a bit scared. Have to do an odd sequence. Early rogue means early readstone food. Yeah, second action readstone food would be good here. I just think I don't really want to tip my hand that early. Field watchman for Bigfoot. So it's not evening prayer in Bigfoot's hand at least. Honestly, though, I'm quite happy to see that. Oh, P PJ has evening prayer, clearly. Um, so Hullabaloo gets to expensive awk, and then I get two clay. Or I get expensive awk, and I'm pretty happy with this round. I can ex expensive awk. Um, playing farm worker to mess with PJ would be kind of fun. Yeah, playing farm worker to mess with PJ would be kind of fun. Hullabaloo's going to play bone collector. It's always a fun card. Grab the two clay, you know, sheep may flip in two and then I get the first fireplace, which would be good. I don't want to plow a field without uh, farm worker in play because as soon as you plow a field, I plow a field without farm worker in play, then the farm worker itself gets quite a bit worse. Plus, I know Bigfoot is also going to be plowing, so if PJ does have a way to sow, or desire to sow, then it gets worse because of Bigfoot. Bigfoot plowing along the bottom, good. So it could be Bigfoot with South Pole Explorer. PJ's got Threshing Machine plow. Uh, okay, so it seems like PJ does not have South Pole Explorer, right? 
Because you're not playing Threshing Machine Plow Evening Prayer with, uh, with, uh, Threshing Machine Plow. Field Watchman in South Pole Explorer would be pretty wow. Honestly, I, yeah, I, I'm not sure about that, Montu. Like, you need a pretty specific card. You need a card that lets you use grain to hold, or fields to hold, uh, the cattle. Like... This is going to be fine, but without some way to build rooms off the back of your grain or your cattle, I think it's going to be tough. Especially because I'm never going to put him in second this game. Bigfoot's going to be last like the entire game. Entire game. Yeah, so we can expect PJ to second action. Um, uh, evening prayer, I'm guessing. I'll go ahead and grab two reed here and probably wheel expensive awk. And I can expensive awk um, pioneer, yeah, because I'll take major minor and build the first fireplace when it flips. It's not ideal, but it's fine. I also want to get if I if I can manage to reno when it flips, like so. Pioneer can give me a read food um, for reno as well. That's something to think about. Bigfoot's got Stable Artificer. Nice of him to leave Cheap Occupation available. I guess it just makes my second action way better, right? I get 3 wood or Cheap Oc. Assuming PJ is going to play his Evening Prayer here. Green as Animal Capacity card is in that set. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, Montu. But yeah, not in this set, of course. PJ's got Circus Manager. Okay. Uh, hopefully nobody first action three woods, three food next round. <laughs> it's uh, not guaranteed to be safe. Oh, that plus Harbor Master is cute. So you police traveling players and then force somebody else onto three food. The problem is what happens when I first move three food traveling players here? Then PJ, who is starving, is basically forced to take fishing. Hello Blue is playing Wolf. Okay. I'll grab the three wood here. I'm well set up to build the first room. I might not even need Rogue to get the first family growth. But yeah, first move, traveling players, second move, four clay or pioneer. Both of those look fine. Being forced to fish doesn't hurt as much. Uh, I mean, you would never play an occupation that gives you a read when you take fishing, right? You would just never play that card. And PJ never wants to bottom feed and take fishing, right? He, he wants to bottom feed and play an awk. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, do you think Bigfoot might have South Pole Explorer? <laughs> uh, I think I think he's got South Pole Explorer. Okay, so I like the traveling players. I think it just messes everyone's game up so much. I like traveling players here. Because how does Bigfoot feed if he plays South Pole Explorer, right? He has to take... He pretty much has to take the three food. Cow sweep. With plow and then three stables. I think the, tra I think the traveling players here just prevent South Pole Explorer from hitting the table. I mean, I think my second action is probably three wood, but cheap occupation is also an option. I 
I guess Hullabaloo might 3-wood here. Hullabaloo kind of needs to 4 clay and build the... Hullabaloo's feeding is pretty awkward here, so I think Hullabaloo wants to take 4 clay, next round build the hearth and take grain. Or start player Huntsman's Rifle. Okay, that's another way to do it. Yeah, if I take 3 wood here, I prevent, uh, I can, sh I can steal the cows, so I think that's probably what I'm doing. I mean, the 3 wood is good anyways, just because stable, uh, with stable artificer in the game. Yeah. Bigfoot is pretty, I mean, being last all of stage two, like PJ start player twice. PJ start player twice is pretty annoying. Wow, he's doing it. Madman, absolute madman. Um, yeah, Bigfoot's going to be sad. Sorry, man. I mean, you, you, you gave me a pretty direct incentive to steal the sheep here. <laughs> or to, uh, not to steal the sheep, to steal the cattle here. Like, the four stables are particularly good at having seen Stable Artificer. Sun Farmer. Welp. All right, uh, so now what I think I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reno, and I don't need to build a wood room. I can just reno and clay hut builder. Oh no, the six clay is gone. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I build. Maybe I get four wood next round. Is there a way for me to get four wood? Do I have a miner or something? Miner field? No, I don't really want a miner miner field. Uh, is there an occupation to play here? Yeah, like the fun thing about having the two clay here. Uh, 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 uh. Blue wants to change. Yeah, the fun thing about having the two clay is that I'm ready to pioneer. The problem is... I don't uh, get the grain. I
Hullabaloo just changing his move, like, when he gets his action back, like... What? Not asking? Anyways. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm definitely playing Pioneer now. Feed four, breed my cattle. Gives hullabaloo room parts. I mean, I think it's fine. Like, he could have two wood. He could have taken two wood. I think it's fine. Like, he, his point was that he wanted to first move one grain. His point was that he had, like, he, that he was going to starve, like, which makes sense. Like, and he also, he does have wolf, right? I know, I agree. I agree that it's, I agree that it is um, improper and probably unethical um like definitely it raises red flags of yeah they wheeled grain so there was no problem well exactly i know i know i i agree I just don't care to get in the argument i just make a little mental note okay hullabaloo does this kind of kind of bs so how does hullabaloo have eight wood and nine food though that seems like a lot He was able to rifle two O. Oh. Why does he get two boar? Oh. Bone collector, right. Bone collector. Yeah, there's just like no reason for him not to first uh the wolf would. Yes, okay. Yes, that's why he got to convert two boar already. So the boar, the wood should be gone off the top, basically. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was an obvious one gr first action, one grain with field watchmen in the game. Especially because you don't know that I'm going to steal the South Pole Explorer. Whatever. I just don't care to argue, but... Uh, is this the thing where my board doesn't update? Yeah, that's why he went from 2 to 10. I was like, how did he go to get to 10 food? But yes, he, he got to wolf on the wood. Grain gives boar, rifle boar gives wood plus wood plus boar. Yeah. And then you rifle the second boar and get another wood. Yeah, so that's why he was able to get so much wood. PJ, what's up? Board reloaded three minutes later. What? What? Oh, lost internet. Okay. Yeah, it is a it is a good combo.
I think there's a pretty good chance I get four wood first move, right? Because Hullabaloo or PJ have to first move build. So I'm pretty sure I'm getting four wood and uh, four wood and maybe second move Rogue. Or I can five clay and then if Reno flips, I'm going to five clay and then Reno. Trigger Pioneer, get a read and a food. Probably build the cooking hearth so that I can just eat this cattle. And then go back and take more clay to build a clay room later. It is Reno. Okay. And PJ start player custom improvements. Okay. Yeah, so I'm probably doing five clay into Reno build. Although, is Bigfoot going to mess with my Reno? Hmm. He has four clay, not five clay. I mean, he might have like clay hut extension or something. Um, I guess I just thought that it wasn't guaranteed I get this four wood here. That's what I was thinking. That this four wood was not guaranteed. Because Hullabaloo can take it here. And I like this because it leaves me open. I like the Pioneer here because I'm super open. Yeah. Like I can do the Clay Reno or I can do the four wood. And I'm pretty happy with either outcome. Yeah, I think the clay line is pretty good because of the, um, like I do need food, right? So, okay. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I mean, I can still take the wood, but the problem is now the clay. I guess I just clay hut build, right? And then reno. Or I, I guess I reno and then clay hut build. Because I probably wheel expensive awk. Although the problem is now I'm not using this minor improvement action. Hmm. If family growth is in seven, wood and then wood and then rogue looks good. If family growth is in six, wood and rogue lets me grow in seven either way. Although growing in seven with the wood line, my feeding is worse. I need to think. I guess I just have to bottom feed. Yeah, either way I have to bottom feed. So I'll take the four wood here. Play Constellation Prize to assert dominance. Yeah. Dominance. I guess what I'm afraid of a bit is the rogue line just makes the game too easy for Hullabaloo. Like Hullabaloo no longer has to worry about start player once I play rogue. I guess I'm a little worried about that. Looks like Bigfoot is going to reno. Reno and build the clay oven. But yeah, Bigfoot's kind of boned. I mean, he played South Pole Explorer into a person that could steal the South Pole Explorer. So, I don't know. I don't know, Kev.
I wonder if I'm supposed to second action fireplace here. Because the sheep are still up for grabs. Hollow blue start player stable. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty sure, I mean, looking at it right now, Montu, when I can't eat the cattle, sure, but like, I'm going to be able to eat the cattle, and then the game is just going to go super easily. I think with sheep coming late, even with growth in five, I'm still better off with the cattle. Because it's just, it's just eight food before the cattle would flip otherwise. Oh, Bigfoot not renovating, taking three wood. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's see if family growth flips. So the awkward thing about the fireplace build is that if family growth flips here, well, I guess I'm rogue building either way, right? Probably. And then I'm hoping to take four sheep in seven and then family growth as my two actions. Yeah, I guess that's my sequence either way, right? Family growth flipped here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, because as soon as I do this, right, um, Bigfoot's built going to build the fireplace, right? Unless he really goes after the clay. I, I guess I think this is okay either way. Yeah, I think this is okay either way. It's way more than eight food. I know. It's like, it's eight, but what I'm saying is it's eight food before the cattle flip. And then after that, it's like even more food. It's just access to a bunch of food. My game is much better. Yeah, if I play Rogue instead of Pioneer, I can take the sheep. Yeah, Bigfoot grabbed the sheep here. That's okay. I mean, I can eat the cattle if I need to. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, so I could pioneer grow this round for sure, yeah. But I mean, probably I would pioneer grow and fireplace this round, right? I think. I think that's probably what I would have done. Because if I first action build the fireplace and the only person who can take the sheep is Bigfoot and Bigfoot's got no way to eat them. I wonder if he's setting like, is he setting up Renaissance Man or something? Bigfoot setting up Renaissance, man. It kind of looks like something like that is happening. Just his resources has been weird. That's all. Resource, his Bigfoot's resources have been a bit weird.
Yeah, looks like Bigfoot is going to Reno and Fireplace. Or Reno and Hearth. If he builds the Hearth, I'd be a bit annoyed. I mean, Hullabaloo building the Hearth here is pretty weird. Um, with Huntsman's Rifle, usually that's something you avoid. I don't know. It's almost like he had decided on that move before... Oh my, why is it... This is taking forever. I guess PJ hasn't, had been, hasn't been his turn that long. I did have a very long turn in, early in the game. PJ start playered. Is he going to be greedy and grab the six wood? If he's greedy and grabs the six wood here... Uh, he's going to BMW. So that means I get uh, the four food fishing action. Which, I mean, Bigfoot doesn't need it. PJ wants it, but it looks like he wheels it. So Bigfoot gets the six wood here. And then he's going to Reno Fireplace with his other move. Or Reno Cooking Hearth. Hullabaloo does kind of have to grow. Although maybe Hullabaloo plays it risky. Yeah, I mean, Hullabaloo can probably get away with... Uh, Taking the six wood here. Because my four food action is pretty necessary. Uh, he's going to play cattle breeder here. Okay. He must have a way to get a cattle. He must have some other way to get cattle. Like he has a get one of each type of animal you already have or something like that. Right? He's got to have something like that. Bigfoot builds clay oven for Ashbringer. I mean, if he does, then why did he take the sheep? I think because he took the sheep, it's not a foregone conclusion. Because the sheep just sit there if he builds the clay oven. And they just sit there for the next two stages. I mean, if he builds the fireplace here, of course, he has to eat both his sheep. But maybe he eats a sheep and a vegetable in that case, right? Start player pat or family growth pasture land. Okay. So he's going to try to line up getting the boar breeding or the cattle breeding. Or maybe both. Maybe he has another way to hold animals. Looks like fun. But either way, the boar and cattle are very good for him. They're excellent actions for him. Uh, field should not go over here. I can go over here. And then two food and a cattle. Could be handmade. Yeah, it could be handmade. We'll see. If he puts a uh, sheep on occupation, that's kind of uh, an indicator. Oh, and if he's going to set, like, he, he's going to put it on somewhere and he's going to be like, oh, no, wait, I need to take it back. And he, like, rewinds the whole round and is like, oh, I'm, I took sheep and family growth. Oh. <laughs> uh. PJ's got juggler. Okay. Don't love PJ's game. I mean, he has the BMW going forward, but... I guess PJ can first move five wood and then build, and that's a pretty good good round, but 
Bigfoot's gonna build, right? And I'm pretty sure Hella Blue is gonna start player. Really went for the juggler. A. Hello. Hello, Baloo. Hello. What is round eight or the play by play? Oh man, this is this is a struggle. And PJ's just like, ah, whatever. I'm taking the five wood either way. <laughs> Oh man, this game. This game. He's putting it on cheap. Okay. Uh, four reed seems good if I'm going to build more rooms with Clay Hut Builder. Also, two time, one times Reno plus Hoarder. This seems all around decent. Uh, I'm not too worried about taking the one boar here. I would do, I will take the vegetable next round. Trigger Pioneer there. So yeah, I could uh, take four clay and then reno and then play clay hot builder next round. Although I kind of want to get hoarder out as well. So maybe I four clay and then hoarder here. Oh, PJ took the four clay. Hmm. Maybe I take hoarder and Oh man, Hoarder, uh, yeah, I guess Hoarder is okay either way. And I just try to get the four clay next round. Uh, it is Meadow for Hello Blue. Fun. That saves a ton of wood with a uh, stable artificer in the game. Ton of wood. Yeah, he makes a ton of wood, Hullabaloo does. And a ton of food as well. Unfortunate field watchman. I mean, he got greedy, right? He didn't. He didn't need to play South Pole Explorer. He did not need to play South Pole Explorer. PJ leaving six wood for Hullabaloo. Oh, I am displeased. I guess I'm supposed to take the three wood then. I mean, three wood is fine. Yeah, three wood's fine. It's okay, I guess. Yeah, so four clay, clay hut builder, clay reno, upgrade to a cooking hearth. Oh, then I'm not taking vegetable. Yeah, the three wood means I'm not taking vegetable and renovating next round. Oh, this game sucks.
I mean, not triggering pioneer, not triggering pioneer on the vegetables, not the end of the world. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, like not leaving hullabaloo six wood seems relevant. Yeah, you know, my feeding is really ugly if I reno. I end up having to eat both my cattle. Which is not the end of the world because I can just pick up one cattle when it flips in stage four. Yeah, maybe that's okay actually, now that I think about it. Pick up the cattle, trigger pioneer. Then eating two cattle here is okay, maybe. Oof. Oof. Oh, <laughs> First action, two food that becomes four food for PJ. Yikes. How hungry does he think we are? Reno looks uncontested, but the cooking hearth might actually could get built by PJ. He might decide to upgrade. Yeah, I guess he gets build grow, right? I just think, man, wouldn't you love to have played an occupation there? But I guess he doesn't have the food for the occupation. But if Harbor Master got triggered, I mean... Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess he, he doesn't have the food for the ox, so it doesn't make a difference. Like if you trigger Harbor Master, then you have the food for the Auk, right? Now it's not likely. It's yeah, it's not all that likely to get taken here. To be fair, yeah, that would really be a pipe dream. But yeah, Bigfoot Field Watchman going into stage four with zero grain. Yikes! That's pretty sad. It means he has to take grain twice and then get so after taking grain in eleven, which. Uh, so it might be contested at that point. It just might be. So I'm expecting Deck Collector to come out next stage. So that's something to be aware of. if Bigfoot's going to go after that six wood or if Hullabaloo gets six wood again well not again but well 
or to read, eat two cattle. Bigfoot taking Reedstone food. So PJ, who did not build and instead took the three stone, can start player to get six wood here. He's going to start player vegetable scoop. Yeah, the, the first move traveling players, if there was any chance that he was going to not build and grow, the first move traveling players is looking worse and worse. So stone flipped. Is it worth playing coal miner here? Uh, the wood's okay, but the clay is not that useful. A to I. Oh, he's saying put it on field, yeah. All right, um, I'm going to build grow in 11. So what am I doing now? Raidstone food here. These moves are all pretty bad. I mean, one stone is also Reedstone food. <laughs> Maybe I just Reedstone food twice. Or I can take wood off of the one stone space at least. And then plow. Yeah, maybe something like that. Can take stone wood food next round. Or sorry, uh, next action and then unblockably plow. Or I could play farm worker. The problem with farm worker plow is then I'm probably converting a, am I converting a clay? Am I converting a reed? What am I converting? I guess farm worker is the way to feed without a three sheep action. Do I think I'm going to get a three sheep action though? I think there's a chance that I get it. Or two boar, three sheep, two boar. I think there's a decent chance I get one of those two moves. Nope, Hullabaloo's taking the sheep here. Man, Hullabaloo's having a great game. If he gets family growth in 12, he wins. And he might be winning anyways. I really need those two boar. Is PJ ever letting me get the two boar? Probably not, right? So maybe build plow is the sequence here. Or sorry, farm worker plow is the sequence. And yeah, turn a reed. Because I, I can go back to the reedstone food space when I have more moves. I mean, I could convert wood. He's going to grow. He needs seven food. Well, he had four food, right? And if Harbor Master got triggered, then he would have the eighth. That's what I was saying. But Harbor Master wasn't going to get taken. So, But you're right, Montu, that if he was going to grow, he need, he couldn't have played the Auk. But since he didn't grow, he could have played the Auk if he had done it with his last move. PJ Stone Kitchen. That's very good with Vegetable Scoop. So the vegetable space is now an eight food action. And he does have four family members. So, yep. Yeah. Some good stuff for PJ. 
Hello Blue sewing here so he doesn't have to fight with Bigfoot for it next round. Plow, turn a, yeah, I think turn a reed into three food. I guess if there's a chance Bigfoot has clay hut extension, I'm supposed to build here. It just doesn't look like anybody's going to build. Bigfoot's building the fireplace. Yeah, it, it seemed obvious that Bigfoot needed the fireplace a while ago. I think the clay oven, like, the clay oven feels like what you want with the field watchman. The problem is it took actions that the fireplace would not have, right? Like, the fact that he never was able to sow grain, I think, makes the clay oven worse, but... I don't know. Bigfoot plays Debt Collector. Yeah, it didn't seem like that hard of a move. <laughs> Oh, I'm one food short. I'm dumb. I forgot about paying for the farm worker. I forgot about paying for the farm worker itself. Yeah, so if I pioneer cattle, I'm only at six food, so I can't grow this round. So then building is questionable whether it's even worth it or not. I mean, if family growth doesn't flip it in 12, it's worth it, but yeah. I mean, I can double grow in if family growth flips in 12. I can regularly grow and then rogue grow. Rogue grow. Aquavit here, sure. All right, so if that's what's happening, then definitely want to take one cattle. And I'm actually kind of afraid of Hullabaloo grabbing his breeding pair here. So I think plus F stone here is what I want to do. Finally, Pioneer does something. I don't want to have to eat my cattle here, Montu. I think it's not worth eating my cattle. And I think uh, I think getting the breeding pair of cattle to go have feeding going forward is pretty important. Because everybody has a cookery now, so the animals are just not going to accumulate. Oh, the four wood wield. I'm happy about that. Quite happy about that. And I can last action build. Or I could rogue plow. Hmm. Uh, I'm not using rogue if I plow here. But if I build here, then I have the chance at taking uh, six wood. Or probably not six wood, but four wood next round. Right? If PJ doesn't... Well, I mean, if PJ doesn't take three wood here, but PJ's going to take the wood, right? Or is he going to... Well, PJ can't sew. I thought maybe PJ would sew. Bigfoot did pull off take green twice before... Um, before sewing, which I... Or before baking, which was not guaranteed. But he didn't bake, of course. He had to... He had to he's going to have to eat all his uh, sheep. Eat uh, two sheep and a vegetable, which is not so bad. Getting two sheep and a vegetable is fine here when you still have two vegetables and two sheep. So it works out fine. And, you know, Bigfoot does have deck collector around 14. So that's always something. Uh, yeah, there's looks like there's going to be a pretty good wood action next round. So I think building here makes sense. Feed six and hoard stone. P 
PJ's got Racing Stable Manager. Uh, means I get six wood next round, assuming that Hello Blue takes the round twelve action, whatever it is. Getting six, getting six wood feels really good. Means I can fence thirteen and thirteen. It's plow so. Um, I mean, with no crops, roguing plow so doesn't seem that important. I guess it could take a vegetable. Could six wood vegetable plow so. No, because I want to grow here. Yeah, so that's that's not something I'm doing. This is the worst, like the worst rogue pioneer ever. This is quite quite poor by me. All my uh, actions are a turn too late. My pioneer was really was really bad. My pioneer was really bad. I thought that I thought I was gonna get the clay and Reno in five, but uh, didn't work out. Plowso is still it's still a plow action that lets me turn a clay into three food and gets me a, you know more resources. Yes, but the the fact that I'm not sowing anything here is pretty brutal. Um, Hull Blue's probably got Flat Hill, right? Or who's got Flat Hill? Hull of Blue. Yeah. Uh, how late was Flat Hill in the draft? Did I see it? Was it in my third pack? So Hull of Blue would have picked it up seventh. Four, five, six. He would have picked it up six. Maybe. I mean, PJ could have it. PJ's got no clay and did, uh, take vegetable scoop. So Maybe. Uh, is there a chance Constellation Prize does something? I guess there's a chance it does something if I do this here. So grab plus F, um, plus F read, I suppose, and turn a clay into three food. Uh, Constellation Prize gives a stone. So that's something. Hello Blue's playing Renovator. Do I want to pay a food for a stone? Sure. So I'm going to family growth rogue next round. So I probably value plowing with one of my first, like plow one field maybe pretty highly. It's looking like I want a rogue reno fence as well. Just that the stone from pioneer is going to be nice. Getting plus FS there. So if I get stone on family growth and then I get stone on pioneer, um, in 13 and 14. There's my reno. And if I want to hoard a wood, then if I, I'm hoarding a wood, so taking another wood action is fine. 
And taking a wood action is more than one point because uh, I'm going to have empty spaces to cover, so it seems okay. Yeah, it's at least one point taking wood, so it seems fine. Organic farmer is looking good. Yeah, so I mean, I'm going to have like... 12 bonus points, right? Although the artificer points look like they're going to be shared around, but organic farmer plus hoarder, four point organic farmer plus hoarder. The organic farmer is a tiny bit awkward. I guess I can do the, you know what? I can do the, the silly fencing where I only plow one more field and then I, this is a pasture, these three spaces and then one in each of these and that stable is just left open. Yeah, I could do it that way. I guess I never do that configuration, so I never think of it. Taking wood is like three points. So, I think it's only two. Well, I guess it depends if you're factoring in the, the hoarder. If you're factoring in the hoarder, then it's three points. But I mean, I'm probably going to have an action where I just want to take wood. Isn't that likely to be the case? I don't know. That just seems like I'm going to might want to take it anyways. So second move three wood if it's there. I don't think it'll be there, but maybe hullabaloo start player flat hill. No, he played renovator. He's not going to flat hill. Uh, it looks like it's PJ that has flat hill. Did Beakfoot take flat hill with field watchman? I mean field watch uh, field watchman can certainly support flat hill, but then he renoed pretty early. I guess he built a clay room after renovating. Right, he got a couple good clay actions. Herb Garden here for PJ. I mean, PJ looks like he's going to be able to build the well, right? Because this is a funny game where Stone came out late. So PJ, Clay House, plus well, plus Stone Kitchen. You know, he's got some good stuff. Unfortunately, he's lacking the bonus points, right? He's nowhere close to the Stable Artificer. It's two points, and it lets me get one more point from Organic Farmer. Yeah. Well, I mean... If I fence 13, 4, 3, 3. Oh, for some reason I thought 13 was 4 pastures uh, vertically. 4, 3, 3. It is 4 pastures vertically. I don't think it's 1 extra point from Organic Farmer. I mean, it might be, depending on what animal actions I get. I'm always hoarding a wood. Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just taking a three wood action either way. So the deep analysis on what the three wood, how much it's worth is it. The wood is points either way. Right, but if it's the for, if it's an organic pa pasture point, if it's an organic farmer point and a pasture, then it's the same either way, right? That's all. That's all I'm looking at. Let's 
So I'm grabbing the sheep here. I think I'm just eating two of them. Right? Yeah, I think so. And then I rogue uh, family growth. Yeah, either way, it's a good move. Ooh, trinket collector. Uh, one, two, th uh, customer improvements gives points. So three point trinket collector so far. Or to clay. Wonder if it's correct. Oh, or the clay. It doesn't really matter. There's a chance I don't have to rogue run offense. If Bigfoot builds the uh, the well, you think? If PJ has a uh, flat hill, maybe, but it looks like PJ is not playing flat hill. Yeah, not having any improvement points is sad. My farm is nicely developed, but I certainly am accustomed to having several improvement points. And the fact that I have none is... Uh, Bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. Oh, you're saying just do it first move. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bigfoot's plow sewing here, so choosing not to reno, actually. Figuring that he gets the well, but I think PJ just is going to reno well, right? Seems like reno well is correct for PJ. Bigfoot has profit. Oh, right, I passed profit. Good call. Good call. I mean, I think you still have to rent a well as PJ, right? Reno, is this Reno clay worker shop? Ooh. Um. I guess he doesn't think he has anything to do here aside from taking clay and wood. Because he just spent all his clay. Ah, uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. Is that is that really better than building the well here? Um, I don't think so. Oh, he gets a point from custom improvements. It's still not better, right? Unless he needs the food, but taking grain and taking sheep is just better than taking wood and clay, right? Wood and clay are at most three points. Maybe a bit better with food. So like maybe it's two for two. Yeah, I don't know. Hullabaloo Renos though. Um... Oh, you're saying, yeah, Hullabaloo's going to reno, yeah. Yeah, he's not going to risk me not taking it. What if I build the well? Oh. 
Um, what am I doing here? I guess plow. Is plow even good? Plow's not even good. It makes my stables, or it makes my fences worse. Well, it makes my fences, plow is a one point move, it looks like. Yeah, plow is a, it looks like plow is just a one point move. So that's, that's not very good. Uh, one boar, maybe? Yeah, take one boar. Or take the two cattle, just to take them off the table. I don't know. It takes... Maybe takes some points away from Bigfoot, but Bigfoot's not taking them until... After he renos. Like, he might... Oh, uh, he could take and eat one, I guess, and eat a sheep, yeah. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't really want to eat sheep if he doesn't have to. Maybe I just first action occupation organic farmer. Maybe I'm supposed to be worried about Hullabaloo having an end-of-the-game point card here. Plow might actually be zero points. Because it turns off uh, Organic Farmer. Eight, one, two, three, four, five... Seems like it should still be one point. Do I need these cattle? You know what, I, I maybe need these cattle. No, I don't need these cattle, what am I doing? I can eat a cattle, so I'm at 5. I, even if I need 10, I can get fishing plus pioneer. No, maybe the cattle's okay. Yeah, maybe the cattle's okay. Because I do need the, the food for the occupation. So this means I don't care if I get expensive auk. Yeah, not the tightest game I've ever played. Not the tightest game I've ever played. So, uh, a bunch of two-point moves after Organic Farmer and Plow Sow. So, Grain, Vegetable, Boar. Two bunch of two-point moves. Seems to be pretty slow. Oh, fence three over there. Oh, right, meadow. Okay. That's fun. Yeah, cover some extra spaces. Yeah, Hullabaloo might be winning this. 32 plus four. Gets rid of the beggar. So plus seven. So he's like 39 right now. Breeds two points. 41. I'm at 17, but obviously my reno fence action is... What? It's a 15 point move. So I'm at 35 plus... 5 hoarder, 40. We both have artificer, so we're both at 43. Or did I count artificer? I counted artificer for him, so I'm at, I'm at 43. Is 40 ish. Zealous farmer for family growth. Ooh, this makes Bigfoot. F so, not playing organic farmer was actually dangerous. Holy crap. Wow. That was. The well was unbuilt. I mean, Bigfoot just built it now, right?
I mean, fence is still available, right? He could still he can fence and build the well. But yeah, the fact that he can't do that with one action is sad. Yeah, he fences here. Oh, not going to keep... Uh, he's just going to fence 14. I think he could have afforded to take 3 wood and fence 15 and then build the well. But I guess you're really risking Major Minor not coming back. So I think what I do there is I build the well on Major Minor and then 3 wood and then fence. I think that's my would be my sequencing. Because you're... Well, I guess there is a chance that PJ goes on fence, but... I don't know. It seems like it's a lot better for... If PJ takes wood, it seems like the stables are better, right? It's better for PJ to take three wood and then build two stables and uh, and racing stable manager than defense four. He's building the stone oven. Oh, true. Does he need the food for the stone oven? I guess he does. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess I was just thinking that keeping staying at eight grain was nice, and then eating two sheep. I guess it's equivalent. You're either way you're eating a point, but if you had the oh well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, grain again plus those unblockable. Does anyone want boar? Uh, PJ wants boar. What's PJ's last move? I don't know. Take the boar here. Try to wheel grain. And if I don't wheel grain, I plow for one point. No well. Uh, no, I think I'm going to be, I think I'm not going to have that much time to play, unfortunately. Maybe. May, if I can get enough games in on Saturday, maybe. I've got a busy, I've been busy last week and next week are busy for me. But maybe. If I can play, if I just play all day on Saturday, maybe. The problem is I'm going to want to sleep a lot on Saturday. But yeah, streaming for a while could be fun. Especially if I'm not going to stream. If I take if I take uh, tomorrow night off and then I take probably Friday night off. And I could do a really long stream on Saturday. So yeah, the plan for this week, no two in Tuesday tomorrow. Um, I'm uh, probably going to take tomorrow off streaming and then I'll stream a couple games during the gate day on Wednesday and then I'll do two in Thursday this week. Uh, grain is gone. Maybe should have seen that coming. Play to FFF for fun. Whoops. Right, fencing 14 like that. Four point organic farmer. It's four pastures. Yeah, it looks fine. Plus FS. Whoops. Hoard wood. Hoard wood, feed 10. Split my animals up just to make it really clear how I'm doing this organic farmer. So whatever I score plus uh, 12, as I called it out. 
So it looks like it's high 40s. 50? I hit 50. Wow. It's 50 with a pretty ugly game on my part. Quite an ugly game on my part. I guess everybody else had really ugly games too. Two win charity Saturday maybe. Coming out of retirement to stream some. There you go. PJ has trinket collector wrong. Yeah, he's counting like Stone Kitchen, Clay Workshop, it looks like. Yeah, pretty ugly on my part. Pretty ugly game on my part, but the power of Rogue didn't really matter and uh, the fact that everybody else's game was kind of ugly like the field watchman kind of got messed with like Bigfoot was so hungry in stage one I think that really hurt him quite a bit and then Hullabaloo never got the actions uh, the fact that Hullabaloo wasn't able to zealous farm earlier was uh, very good for me watering can't grow out of a job yeah that's right all right guys that's going to be all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I think he's giving himself two. I don't know. Anyways, not that important. Guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. To be fair, I get five points higher. Family growth flips in 12. That's true. Yeah, that's true, Gray. Um, yeah, I can take grain and vegetable in that case. <laughs> Instead of these ugly negatives. Uh, I'll be back. I think I'm going to take tomorrow. Oh, he, think it, he thought it counted stuff that... It, Trinket Collector worked with points. Oh, he's saying it's without. Oh, okay, he didn't realize. He thought all of his minor... He thought all six of his improvements counted. <laughs> One bonus point for every improvement with a point on it? Yeah, oh my god. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to probably be taking tomorrow off, but then I'll stream a bunch on Wednesday and Thursday, and uh, maybe on Saturday as well. We'll see. But I'll also stream in the evening on Sunday. But yeah, probably mostly day, mostly day, uh, day streams this week. So, alright, guys, see you next time. Bye.